Hi everyone, my name is Taya Lim and I am the founder and one of the directors and teachers here at Helping Harmony. Um, today we've put together a video for all of you and your students that demonstrates the different instruments we teach, um, including the violin, viola, cello, and piano, so that you can all learn a little bit more about them. Please listen through all of this video with your students so that they can see um, which instrument they like best and choose what they'll learn with us. The first instrument we teach is the violin, a very pretty and one of the most famous string instruments. It has the highest range out of all the string instruments we teach, meaning it has the highest sound and tone, um, and it is played by holding it between your shoulder and your chin and holding the bow with your right hand. Here we have Nora Lee, one of our teachers, playing Brook Violin Concerto No. 1 in G minor, a well-known song with many sweet melodies and flowing phrases. Thank you to Nora for playing the beautiful Brook Violin Concerto. Um, there are so many different sounds that you can make on one instrument, um, and what Nora played is just a little taste of what the violin is all about. So next, we'll be moving on to the viola, a slightly larger version of the violin with strings that play lower notes. Um, it actually looks quite similar to the violin, and is also held between the chin and the shoulder, um, but its lower voice makes it unique from the violin and has an important role when playing in an orchestra or a group as a lower voice. So here's Keaton. He's going to be playing the Schubert Arpeggio Sonata. Um, it has a more solemn and slow feel to it, and it showcases the, low, the viola's lower tones. Thank you, Keaton. I hope you got to hear the lower tones and deeper sound of the viola compared to the violin and that you enjoyed that recording. Um, now we're going to be moving on to our last string instrument, the cello. The cello is by far the biggest of these three instruments and it is played sitting down with the instrument in between the player's legs. The cello also has an end pin which you put in on the ground um, and it stabilizes it from moving. Uh, the bow of the cello is a lot thicker and a bit shorter um, than the violin or the violas, and it is also played with the right hand. Um, so here is me. I'm going to be playing the Dvorak Cello Concerto, a very dramatic and major cello piece. Enjoy.
you enjoyed that recording of the cello. Um, all these string instruments have their own distinct and wonderful melodies. Um, so our last but not least musical instrument we offer is the piano. Um, arguably the most famous instrument, the piano is actually a percussive instrument, meaning it hits the strings, um, and it has 88 different keys that make a sound by being pressed. Um, as seen in previous videos, the piano is also often used to accompany other instruments, um, like the violin with the piano, the viola with the piano, and the cello with the piano. Um, but it can also be played as a solo instrument. So let's listen to Chris Shin. He's going to be playing the Rachmaninoff uh, Piano Sonata Number no. 2. It's a very emotional and grand piece, um, so please enjoy. So those are the four instruments we're able to teach all of your students, and we hope you got to understand how each instrument sounds and works just a little bit better. Um, so if you want to have any additional videos of a certain instrument, or if you want to have the full recording of a previous video we showed, um, please feel free to email, text, or call me anytime. Um, and for the students, please pick what instrument you want to play wisely. Um, we know you'll love playing music regardless of what instrument you play. Um, and we are so excited to teach you and get to learn um, more about each of you. Um, but we want to get you, allow you to have a choice on what instrument you play um, and which one you love and which one um, stands out to you most. So um, parents, please text me, Taya Lim, the person that has been communicating with you for the past few weeks, um, the final decision that your child makes on what instrument they want to play as soon as possible. Um, meanwhile, we will try to get um, each of your students a teacher for their instrument as well as an instrument of their own and a music books. So lastly, we will be showing a combination of all these instruments in a few groups um, in something called chamber music. This is when multiple musicians play one piece together, whether it's two, three, four, or even twelve people. Um, so the first is Lieber Tango, which has two pianos. Um, the second is a string quartet, meaning two violins, a viola, and a cello playing together. And the last is going to be a piano trio, um, which includes a piano, violin, and cello. Um, most of these musicians are all on the team of our teachers and coordinators for your students, and they might end up teaching them. Um, so we hope you enjoy the last few recordings we have prepared for you, um, and that you let us know what your student wants to play as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.